Every time, y'all, it never fails. Coffee freaking county. Every time, it never fails. <laughs> Pulled in, I was like, I already know you guys are gonna expect me. Because hot shots, you know, I already know how it is. I already know how it is. Well, there's two, the problem with hot shots, you have too many people, they're just buying trucks and trailers thinking right. they can haul. Right. And they don't realize, if you don't have that weight right, you need uh -huh. a class A. Right. You need a log book. Right. And, and they just, they lose half of it. But hit over there and decided he wanted to get me out of service because I got 20 PSI in my truck, on my tire. Look, I've been to Tennessee so many times. Cocky County, Tennessee. Their way station is always open. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What? Holidays, birthdays, anything they is open. They is open. All right, so I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering where is the load? What does it look like? Let me go and show you guys because we did finally pick it up. Now, good thing about this load is it only weighs 500 pounds. This one weighs about... I think this one's about 2,000 pounds. And then the one in the front weighs about, I think about 100 something pounds. So I'm, I'm completely, completely underweight. Straight securement, straight securement, belly wrap. Oh my, look at this. Oh my, well, that's not too bad. I definitely need to change that out. I have extra ones in the truck, but I'll, I definitely need to change that out though. Definitely need to change that out. Technically, if, if a non-CDO guy wanted to haul this, Let's say if he had the proper trailer and he could have derated his trailer, then he could haul this. This, this can be considered a full non-CDL load. And when I be trying to tell people, yes, we preach CDL, yes, we preach CDL, but technically all the loads that we carry, a non-CDL can carry these loads because we don't carry heavy stuff. We don't carry 10,000 pounds, 20,000 pounds, 15,000 pounds. We don't do that. If we do that, it's super rare, like super, super rare. All the stuff that we carry are, are extremely lightweight. I'm talking about extreme, I'm talking about extreme. I'm talking about extremely lightweight. Everything that we carry is extremely lightweight. Um, nothing had to be tarped, thank God. But yeah, that's it. Just had to stop and record a little bit of something. I, and I had to take a break anyway. It's kind of getting hot out here. I hate this weather, man. I hate this weather. Let me go in and give me something to drink, though. It's probably the same dude who gets me every single time. It is. He's in the office right now, bro. He's in the office right now. Look. I told you, he gets me every time. Every time, bro, I swear to God. Every time, bro. He pulls me in every single time. Every single time. Man, I know you remember me, man. Some. Yeah, you don't know, you know you remember me. I know you remember, you give me every time. Every Probably, time. Yeah, I don't really remember a lot of people. Look, What's I'm up? not good with faces. All right, what you got though? When's the last time you had an inspection? Um, and this truck was probably three weeks ago. You had it on you? Mm, the actual thing? Inspection sheet? No, it's turned in. I don't have to on me. Was that the one on inspection sheet three weeks ago? No, you wasn't. Oh. You wasn't. It was in the Arkansas. Alright, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do an inspection, but I'm going to give you two copies of it. Okay. I, I don't have stickers, but that way, when I, if I pull you in again, because I'll be honest, I don't remember people. Okay. I'm not good with faces. Yeah, yeah, we have different trucks, but I've look, I've I've definitely I come in here a lot. As soon as yeah. I came out, I was like, yeah, he's gonna pull me in every yeah. time. We pretty much every time now because uh, they want us to do a certain number of inspections, level ones in a day. Right. It's not physically possible to do the amount they want us to do and do all big trucks. Okay. Right. They're like, we want you to do this. Well, okay, but the big truck takes about an hour and twenty minutes to do an inspection, good. Uh huh. And you want me to do more than one an hour. Right. 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 <laughs> um, but. We're gonna start from the front, run through the whites, walk around to the back, run through the whites again. Okay. Cool. At some point, I'm gonna have to jump up in your truck and look at some gauges. Anything in your truck I need to know about? No. Other people besides you? Uh, Dogs, just... cats, monkeys, birds, uh -uh. snakes, uh -uh. knives, guns, bombs, nuclear no. devices, no. firecrackers. No. no How are you gonna have any fun? Nah, nah. I just drive. That's all I do. Is just How about drive. any beer or wine when we get thirsty? No sir. Marijuana, cocaine, meth, ecstasy, money, other no, kinds of drugs. No sir. Prescription medicine. No sir. Awesome. Makes my job easy. Yes sir. Every time. Born. He's looking at my coupling system, so he's looking at my coupling system hard. This guy is a man. 
Man, hold on. Let me bring y'all up here. It never fails. It never fails. Yeah, he checking my tires. He that's he knows he knows he knows that's what he doing, bro. Oh no, he's checking my straps. I mean, not one strap. I told y'all in the beginning of the video. No, please don't look at it. Please don't look at it. Please don't look at it. He's looking at it. Ah, uh, I don't think I'm gonna get dinged up for it though, because I think it has to be a certain amount, and it's not. Before I just get upset, completely upset. Um. I am out of service again. Honestly, and it sucks because it makes me feel like I'm almost a laughing stock at this point because I'm actually clean. Um, when I say clean, I mean like clean, like super clean. Um, but this is something that's really just out of my control. So when you have a when you have a CDL, you have to send in your DOT medical card every year, I guess to uh, or whenever you have to renew, you have to send it into the government. So they could basically put it onto your commercial license. Um, I actually have a brand new DOT medical card. They actually checked and everything. I had this medical card. I got it not too long ago, right? I sent it in, emailed it over to them and everything like that. My dad did the same thing. Well, they got my dad's, but they didn't get mine for some reason. I guess this is just the Lord's way of giving me more content for you guys, but we're going to just do what it do. Here's the content. So, um, clean. Truck is clean. Brakes clean trailer clean um eod is clean paperwork is clean registration insurance all that shit's clean everything's clean only thing is not clean is my driver license now i have a clean driver license but my commercial driver license is suspended right now because i do not have a medical card because a georgia dds did not do their job now i get it this whole pandemic has been affecting a lot of people but because of georgia dds they did not file my dot medical card with my commercial license so i'm out of service um cool thing about it is the dude is cool um not cool let me not say cool um i know him because he knows me he done got me twice for a tire literally y'all see my other videos he got me for a tire but he said hey man look i know y'all here trying to do better things you know i seen your youtube yada 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 i'm gonna cut you a little slack so what he did was he didn't write me no physical ticket to put it on my points because it's actually a physical mistake but because of dds he has to give my company a violation so my company has another violation and it is what it is i'm gonna try to make the best of it i'm a little bit upset this this, this i'm not this ain't even the upsetting part the upsetting part is i can't do it online i have to physically go drive four or five hours back home to georgia go there physically in person tomorrow morning give it to them and then probably wait another 24 to 48 hours before they reinstate my license or my commercial license or whatever it sucks it sucks, so I gotta unhook my trailer. Like, I, I really feel like I'm about to do the walk of shame right now. I have to unhook the trailer and everything. But I'm gonna be real. I'm not like this guy over here, that guy. Um, I'm gonna tell you why. Because when I was in there, they pulled me in there. When I was in inside the actual building, they brought him in to get on the scale. He's non-CDL, but he's not non-CDL. They brought him in to put him on the scale, but when he got on the scale, he decided to run. The dude literally put his hat on. He said, I'm going to go get this guy. And I said, what are you? I'm, I'm thinking that he's just going to inspect somebody in the parking lot. He said, no, he's running. I said, what do you mean? He's like, he took off. I told him to come into the parking lot. He took off. So I, I asked him a couple of questions like, you know, what happens when something like this happens? And he was like, well, one, he's going to get a ticket. Two, he's going to get, you know, out of service. And I think it's something else. He said, now, like the little things that we let you go with sometimes, let you go away with sometimes, we're going to ding you up for every single thing that we see. So bad thing is he's overweight so things like that that happen it's it's the reason why they come after us so hard because of people like that you know what i mean i'm trying my hardest to really to be clean all the time sometimes sometimes things just happen and i understand that now but i try my hardest to be clean at all times and for that to happen in front of me it really shows what a lot of you guys are doing out here and it's affecting the hot shot industry and i'm not going to talk like i'm just some princess i'm not because at the end of the day you know i've made my mistakes but i've learned from my mistakes and i've owned up to my mistakes as a man now i'm trying my hardest now to be better but i guess georgia dds said oh i'm gonna get you one more time so you know um it is what it is but doing stuff like that man running an actual the light that they tell you to when they tell you to come into the scale and you actually run bro like that crazy bro 
That's crazy. Everything was good. You know, everything was good. I'm like, man, I'm finna get flying colors. I'm finna go about my business. And no, that's not what happened. And it's really bothering me. And I'm trying my hardest not to let it affect me. But it it, it, it stings. It definitely stings. Because it's like, Coffee County is like my enemy right now. I cannot. No, they're everybody's enemy. A smaller man down because a lot of the semi trucks are you know flying by of course you know no problem but um even right now to the left of me i see these guys in a box truck and obviously you can tell that they're out of service i see another hot shot where i was talking about earlier where he blew past the the actual uh you know and these guys are probably legit out of service for legit reasons but the fact that i've you know i've learned from my lessons already i've already I've overcome, I've, I've overcome the rookiness that I've I've been, the 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 slacking and the 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 nonchalant mentality I had before. I'm taking it a lot more serious, you know. Like even do, you know, he finally realized who I was and you know realized that oh yeah, um, yeah man, you're gonna be good. I'm you know I can already tell this is a good inspection. I checked your truck, you're good. Your ELD is good, everything is good. Just waiting on your driver license to come back. And driver license came back. So it, I'm just, I just I was I was in shock. I was in complete shock. So, um, what did your dad say? Honestly, the only thing that I really can do right now is uh, unhook my trailer, <sighs> unhook my trailer, and come back home and take care of it tomorrow morning. And um, even with that being said, taking care of it tomorrow morning doesn't guarantee that right. um, it's gonna they're gonna they're gonna do it within 24 hours. So. It just sucks because now I have to drive four hours back home. I just I done sat through traffic through Tennessee and Georgia. Finally got up here to coffee and here I am, you know. And they get me at the same time every time. I can understand the other two times that's just me being um not fully going through my pre-trip after I pick up my loads. I should have just did my pre-trip again or did a trip like just a just a check, a clear check over again of my tires. Cause every single time I've come through here it's been through tires. I mean it's been for yeah. tires. It hasn't like it's been through EOD or nothing like that. Uh, they, they, they're pulling another hot shot. I kid you not. I kid you not, Dad. Another, another hot shot. I kid you not. I'm recording right I'm recording right now. Up, wow, that's another hot shot they're pulling in, man. <laughs> but uh, just learn from me, man. Um, make sure that your commercial license is valid because I turned my DOT medical card in like probably two, three months ago, whenever it was due. And I remember showing my dad how to do it online. And I remember I did it online as well. His came back valid. He he just pulled his up and his is actually valid, but mine's is not. So um, that's really just uh, an error in the office back at DDS, back at home in Georgia. It can happen to anybody. But with that being said, going on forward now, I know to... Let me just go ahead and take a peek at my commercial license every so often. You know what I mean? Just let me see what's going on because... I'm I'm making a commitment now. This this is officially my last violation. Like this is my last violation. It's it's at this point it's it's funny because it's like you just keep getting violations, you know? Like I'm just waiting for them to put you out of service or something or not put you out of service, but put you out of business, which we don't want to happen. But learn and take all of my experiences and take that with you because I don't I'm not afraid to post anything cuz I want to show you guys the real. But just take it from me, bro. Check your commercial license, man. Make sure you still got that commercial license if, you, if you're doing CDL. And don't be like the guy over here and have a non-CDL set up. And because you know you're overweight, decide to try to run away from DOT. Because now he's sitting over there and they banged him up. And that's probably not even his company. That's probably somebody else's company he just did that underneath. Because he doesn't look like he owned the truck. He looked like he really, he looked like he really doesn't even care, to be honest. Um... There's a couple other hotshot guys in here that just pulled in. This nice dude, he got this nice PG, uh, PJ trailer. But just anybody out here, if you got your own authority, your own numbers, man, do your best to really be on top of your stuff because they they like to get you out here. Coffee County is number one for it. I come, I have to come to Coffee County to get to where I need to get to. And something told me, why don't you go through Knoxville? But it's good that it happened now, and I know now, instead of happening somewhere like in Arkansas. And that must have just happened because... When I was in Arkansas, they ran my license and everything. Like, I was, you know, I had a clean slate and they ran me. So, it must have just happened. And it's unfortunate that it just happened because I just got a, uh, an inspection, like, what, three weeks ago? So, um, 
it is what it is. I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to unhook my trailer. Um, do the walk of shame and drive home four hours and see my girlfriend and probably cry in my bed tonight. And then wake up tomorrow morning and go to the DDS and get my stuff taken care of. And then drive another four hours back up here. And then cry while I hook up my trailer and my truck together. And then cry driving another nine hours to get to where I need to get to. Hopefully I get there by Friday and drop off at least one load today. But um, that's, that's life, man. That's life.